This is a new tutorial on Lua, the great scripting language, which is the Portuguese word for moon. And first off, I'm doing just as a bit of a note, I'm doing it in Linux, so you can do it in Windows just as easily, but you just have to open with Lua instead of doing what I do and typing on the command line. So, let's get started. First, we're going to make the tutorial duh. So here we're going to make our first Lua file. So we all we have to do is make the file, and we're going to call this one test.lua, Lua being the fi file extension for Lua scripting files. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about print functions and variables. So first of the print. So print is a very useful function. Oh, my bad. So print is a very useful function. So what we do is print and then we use two parentheses or brackets like that. And inside we're going to put between two uh, speech marks, which is for because we're going to be printing what's called a string, which is a string is a set of is a set of words within um, speech marks. So we're going to be printing this string, and the string is going to be called. Um, I don't know, hello world to fit the additions. So in Lua, you don't have to use semicolons, it is optional if you want to use them. And so what this is doing is just printing the words hello world on the screen. So now what we can do, we have test.lua there, so we're going to type in lua test.lua. It'll run the, the program, and as you see there, in the bottom left corner, it's printed out hello world on the screen for us. So, okay, so that's how the print works. So, next on the list, we're going to be doing variables. Variables can, as the name suggests, vary. It's like in maths with algebra. So, you define what A equals. So, here, for instance, A equals can equal a number, a word. Uh, a decimal number, so not does by that I don't mean like a number in base ten, but a number with with um, uh, dots, so it's point something. But in programming, that's called a float number, and a boolean, which is true or false, and uh, so on, and tables eventually. But we're not going to get there yet. So our first variable is going to be a number. So our number will be um, forty-two. So in Lua, you don't have to use a word like var, like in JavaScript. It's what's called um, dynamic uh, variables, something similar to Perl or some, or Python, I guess. So so a equals forty two. So what we can do here is we can print hello world, and does stick uh, a number onto the end of our string. We can use two dots to what's called concatenate them, so add the 42 onto the end. So we're just going to put A, because like in algebra, we've defined A as 42, and now we're printing hello world and the value of A. If we put dot dot A inside of the speech marks, we'd just print dot dot A, but because outside of the speech marks, it's adding it onto the end. So let's try this out. See, now we've got hello world 42 at the end. So 42 is because we um, concatenated it on the end. So we can also don't have to just do this as numbers. We can put, uh, we can uh, do a string. So again, because it's a string, we're using our two speech marks. And our string's going to be called um, world. It's got strings A and the value of the string is world. So if we take off the world bit from there, and we put dot dot a like we did before is going to print hello and world on the end of it let's try this hello world so but we don't have to just but, but the variables aren't just called variables because someone decided it to variables vary as well so we can print hello world and then a equals um, uh, you can say a now equals 
whoa, so we've changed what world equals. So now A does not equal world, A equals bro. So then when you print hello A again, there's hello world, then it prints the second line as hello bro, because we've changed the value of A. We can change the value of numbers as well. So if we are numbers originally For numbers 42, we can do um, a equals a plus um, 2. So what, when what we do here is a equals a, which is 42, plus 2, which as we know, now a equals 44. So now it should say hello 42, and then hello 44. See, hello 42, hello 44. So at the moment we're doing simple math, but we can do times, um, times, which is an asterisk, a divide being slash, minus, which is a minus. Um, we can do uh, to the power of, which is one of those small um, hats on shift six. And we can do modulo, which is a percentage. So, yeah, so that's all for this episode. We've learned how to use variables and print statements. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.